had a son that went here years ago named Todd Pushkey. Rains was a real special place for my son Todd, right from the start. He could barely walk, I think, when he first came down here. Before the age of one, Todd had 11 major surgeries. When he came to Reigns, there was so much within the exercises that the horse provided to help him gain muscular strength, mental strength. It helped him grow and develop tremendously. It was an amazing transformation. Hi, my name is Michael Henderson, and this is my son Christopher. You know, when we first started riding here, they, I think they had two horses here. He has been here with Rain since he was three years old. He's been riding here longer than anybody, so he's the senior horseman. <laughs> When he first started riding here, he really couldn't even talk. Debbie got him to start talking, and uh, he hasn't stopped since then. So here's a picture of Chris singing the, uh, the national anthem at the hoedown. With uh, Debbie. With Debbie. Every year they've had the hoedown, Chris is uh, invited to sing the national anthem, and uh, he uh, knocks him dead every time. I'm Jeff, and uh, this is my wife Robin, and we're the parents of Jeremy. Reigns has been part of our family. Part of our family for many, many years. We were told by his neurologist that Jeremy may never be able to walk. When we first showed up, couldn't even sit up on the horse, but the care that the volunteers took to guide him through those lessons early on, he progressed along the way and one day he just got up and started walking and hasn't stopped. All because the hard work and, and what goes on right down here in these gates. And Jeremy really connects with the horses. This definite connection is mind blowing, really. To be able to give back to the community to help these riders, it's you know it's priceless. I mean to have this many years and we're still coming out as a family, that's how important Reigns is. To see the um, changes in our riders, how much they improve, uh, they do things they couldn't do before, it's overwhelming. It is. You know, if they can push through that situation, then you can push through whatever it is that's in front of you. Being able to contribute goodness into somebody else's life. The more you give, the more I'm getting back in return. I don't know really how to say it. It's just, it's just um, an overwhelming feeling. I go away full of joy every time. The neurologist said, Jill, never walk. She started riding at reins, and within three lessons, she started walking independently on her own. When we bring Joshua here and we put him up on the horse, that's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Every time she gets on a horse, I'm just like, wow, this is her place. This is where she feels her best. We just want him to be the best of what he can be, and what a huge transformation. Whenever I talk about reins, I have a hard time not crying because they've done so much for my son's life. I'm very grateful for Reigns. I feel a lot calmer while I'm here. I can go here all day, every day, it would. <laughs> Everyone here is not only my friends, but my family now, you know, so <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? You still like coming out here? I love it. I love it out here. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Once you come here, you will love it and you'll never leave. Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> yeah, we had great memories of, uh, of Reigns and Todd. He came alive the minute he stepped foot onto the grounds. It was his favorite place to be. It was our second home. Our story starts here.